Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Stephanie of Geeky Planning back at it again for another video. In today's video, we will be doing my September kit lineup. Um, yeah, that's basically it. These are all the kits that I'll be using in September. Some for my fandom planner, some for my memory planner. Let's go ahead and just get into it. We'll go ahead and start off with my fandom planner. I'm going to try to make this like one of those one tape type videos don't know how well that's gonna go my chair is like insanely squeaky now um but yeah we're just gonna see how that goes also full disclaimer my nails might change somewhere throughout this video um this is one of the ones that i'm pre-filming i'm filming this in june the middle of june um so i have like no idea like this is obviously gonna go live at the end of august and i mostly just want to film this because i am already starting to plan out my september kits in my phantom planner and i want to have this video up with the kits in full <laughs> instead of just the kit leftovers whenever they go up so i'm just gonna film this all if any of the kits change by the time it gets towards august i will have different nails and show you guys what those kits are um so yeah let's go ahead and just get on into it Alrighty, so we are gonna go ahead and just get started with my fandom planner. So for the first week, the week of ah, if I can get everything out, August 30th through September 5th, I have this kit from Sassy Planner Co. I just figured, um, I just figured that like this is in my opinion like the perfect August to September transitiony color kit because you have like some like pinky purpley color and like the yellows and the greens are just in my head August to September color so these are the glitter headers and then these are the um like full boxes and this is like a full kit from Sassy Planner Co which I don't pick up super often but I mostly just picked this up because I knew I wanted to use it in my fandom planner so I knew that I wanted like the full-on ombre heart checklists so this is definitely like a lot more than what you would need in a, a typical like or a lot more than what I would need for my fandom planner but you know I just felt like I really wanted to do it like that so that way I can have just mostly just for the ombre heart checklists and then for the week of September 6th through the 12th I'll be using this creativity and ink um like magical mailer type thing so this did come with these two pages of like holographic hollow um deco stickers so like these are like checklists and then these are like actual deco stickers and then i did put the dates down you'll see that some of these already have the dates down for the kits um and then these are like the full boxes that it came with the headers and then some other like washi type strips and then some like little mini checklists some boxes some deco pieces icons habit trackers and more full boxes and then because this was a like magical mystery mailer this did come with like some overlay tapes and some bottom washi so you uh, for sure are you know that i will be pulling those guys in for whenever i do this spread and again this was for the week of september 6th through the 12th and then for the week of September 13th through the 19th, I have this Space Mountain Magical Mailer Mystery, not Mystery Kit, but um, just like Magical Mouse Attraction type theme kit from Creativity and Ink. And again, because this is September and forever in my head will be ingrained to the September's purple, I decided to use this kit for this month. And this was, I believe, like the very first Magical Mouse Attraction kit from creativity and inks i've been hoarding this for literally so long it's absolutely insane um so i do have the like header add-on that i picked up and then the kit itself did come with the like ombre checklists and this kit is so stunning part of me is kind of sad that i'm gonna use it in my fandom planner because like this is a foiled kit and i try not to use foil in my fandom planner but like it's just too stunning and too cute to not use and again this year we are using and not hoarding and you can tell like it's already starting to shrink up on the sides of like some of these pages because premium matte paper does tend to shrink and i think i've had this kit for like well over a year now if not close enough to a year um that like I don't know like it, it was bound to shrink eventually and then this page has like the little squared boxes and then some more like half boxes quarter boxes third boxes all that fun stuff weekend banner scripts icons flags third boxes habit trackers um two headers a like full weekly checklist and then um no a full ombre heart checklist and a weekly checklist and then at the bottom washi again i already did go ahead and put the day dots in for these guys because i am planning to plan with this kit really soon um 
and then the like date covers, some washi strips, these little labels, and then bill dues. So that is the kit that I'm using for September 13th through the 19th and just two standing to know I'm so excited, so excited to use that kit. And then for the last week of September, the 20th through the 26th, if I could find her, it is my like once a month princess magicalness. And so for this month, we will be using Pocahontas because I have some of the like um, Pocahontas SPC kit, the one that came with like the full on sunflower bottom washi, which is the most stunning bottom washi I've ever. And I miss that in the planet world. Um, but yeah, so because I have some of the leftovers for that and they're like pretty fall colors, I figured I might as well use Pocahontas in like a pretty full month. Um, so that's what we'll be doing. So these are the like full boxes and this is like the other full box e type page, the like essentially Pocahontas icon script page, and then the giant deco page. And there are also a couple, I believe, a couple of other deco e type stickers in the back. So... Yeah, so there's no more Nico, but there is still the little bird. I forget what the bird's name is. We'll figure that part out later. And then there, I believe there's also like some Pocahontas e quilt boxes. Yeah, so there's like a little Pocahontas quilt box there. So yeah, that is it for my fandom planner, and that's the kit that I'll be using for September 20th through the 26th. And then on to my memory planner for the week of August 30th through September 5th. I feel like September is always like the month of SPC leftovers. So for September, for August 30th through September 5th, I will be using this kit from Squirrel Prince Go. This will be my second time using it. I'll have my first time using it linked in the like card above kind of a thing. Um, and this was like absolutely like my most favorite mystery kit of ever from SPC and I'm so excited to use this again and I think that with this format because there was still like actual little things like I have plenty of stuff to do a full-on bougie type spread and especially like the tall girl and just like this girl page itself gives me even more full boxes to use if that makes any sense um and then I still have like the full-on <laughs> glitter sampler and I have like one stack and one header from the glitter header freebie tape page and i'm so excited like i feel like spc mystery kits are always so good and give you so much that it's so easy to do two completely different spreads using the same exact kit so that's a kit that i'll be using for the 30th august 30th through september 5th and then for september 6th through the 12th i will be using the july 2021 mystery from scroll prince co i feel like andrea's mysteries are always or not always but like the july ones are always fall themed so i always look forward to saving these guys and i feel like these are a very different color from the last year the 2020 um july mystery so i'm really excited to use this guy I'm very excited that a fall kit does not have pink i feel like fall and some halloween and christmas kits are my favorite ones to not just go on full pink all the time um and i think these are all super gorgeous super stunning super beautiful and then because this was a mystery and i am subscribed to the ultimate subscription um i did also get the matching foil bundle which is this really cool burnt orange color and i'm really excited to pull in the sticker guru orange two dollar tuesday from a while back um just to make this guy a little bit more extra fall gorgeous beautiful stunning all of that fun stuff so again this is the kit that i'll be using for september 6th through the 12th and then for the week of september 13th through the 19th you know whatever that's fine so again i did already use this kit i think in like march or april of last year and i'll have it linked in the card up above if i was still filming videos then because i honestly don't even know this point um so this was the little like freebie that it came with and then these are the boxes which again like so stunning so beautiful so gorgeous and because this was like the old like super old format with the um like little things and this one was even older than the previous one because this one still has the armor heart checklists um so there is plenty of stuff to do a like full-on type bougie spread so i still have like some of this page left and i think it'll just be really cute to see like my evolution of planning but at the same time like it's still pretty much exactly the same so like this page is completely untouched and like worst things worse i can just cut this up and use this as little things 
and then I still have like this page I have like one of the glitter headers I have literally this I don't even know why I kept this page if I only have that part um the like label sampler and then the tall girl which again like this will help extend the full boxes even more and this came with like a hollow sparkly hollow mixed metal type wiggle I honestly don't really care about like hollow and sparkly hollow being mixed together like in my opinion they're both shiny so it doesn't really matter they're both hollow anyways um so i pretty much just do that on the regular and don't really need a whole like sparkly and it's not a mixed metal wiggle but i will take all the foil all the time um so this is the kit that i'll be using for the 13th through the 19th and if i didn't mention this was the november 2019 mystery i don't think i have been naming the kits as i like as i've been saying them but i'll have the names popping up on the screen as per usual and then for the week of september 20th through the 26th that is the week that as of right now when i'm filming this in the middle of june um venom let there be carnage is supposed to come out that this week um and so if it still does i will use this for whenever i go watch the venom movie if not like i'll just shuffle these kids around a little bit um and i'll probably just use like the september mystery this week instead of like a different one um but again if this movie doesn't come out at all hopefully previous me has come in and you won't even be seeing this clip at all but anyways so this is the venom kit from kia town and so these are the full boxes and this is just so something stunning and so cute and so gorgeous and i did pick it up in the premium mat and i believe this is like the full kit option um and i'm just so excited a to see this movie but also just b to use this kit because it's so stunning and i love like basically everything about this and it is so cute so it's the kit that i'll be using for september 20th through the 26th okay so that is all of the kits that i'll be using for the month of september again pre-apologies for you just regular apologies if the nails changed lighting changed all of the kits changed for some reason um yeah that is it for my september kit lineup hopefully you guys enjoyed and as per usual let's just pause take a bit of a breather take a bit of a chill pill and deep breath in deep breath out and repeat after me I will advocate for me. I feel like sometimes it gets really hard to advocate for ourselves and I've said this before I will say it again it's like one of those things where like we'll give our friends advice and we won't follow that same advice ourselves so just like you know advocate for yourself whenever you can if you feel comfortable doing so because I do know that sometimes it's also like pretty dangerous situations and stuff and you just always want to do whatever makes you as safe as humanly possible. Um, but yeah just love yourself be kind to yourself all that fun stuff in everything that you do and as per usual just do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and sparkly human being and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys